This is Max Williams with United Real Estate. And today, I'm in the city of Richmond. More specifically, I'm in Church Hill. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a four bedroom, two and a half bath home. This home is located here on a four laned street. And uh, we have a great location because we are super convenient to not only downtown, but to Chaco Bottom, uh, major highways, and of course, the airport. This home is new construction, very unusual here in Churchill. We've got a double lot, so we've got plenty of space here by urban standards, and uh, you don't have to worry about somebody being uh, right there on top of you on either side. Special thanks to Amira Bashara, listing agent who was kind enough to allow us to come in and take a look at her beautiful listing. One of the things that attracted me to this property was the price. It is getting more and more difficult to come in at this price point for new construction. And uh, this home is a good size. This is a uh, nicely spaced home that is almost 2,000 square feet. So uh, you'll see, of course, when we go upstairs, uh, I really like uh, the size of the bedrooms. Uh, we've got nice modern floor plan. And uh, this home definitely stands out here in the city. If you've been watching my channel, you know that just yesterday we had a success story. I had a buyer that closed on her home and um, our journey was a little bit longer than normal, but fortunately uh, she was able to realize her dream and is a homeowner here today. She got her keys yesterday and I, I do those videos uh, for a, a few reasons. Number one is I want to celebrate whenever we have a win. Life is tough. Uh, there are all types of things going on in people's lives and uh, it's not all easy. So when we have a win, I definitely want to celebrate that. Uh, I am part of the journey with my clients when it comes to buying a home and uh, we definitely appreciate them uh, trusting me in the process and um, making it to the goal line. Uh, secondly, I want to inspire and inform. Uh, there's a lot of misinformation in the marketplace about buying a home. If you were to talk to 10 people and ask them what is going to keep them from buying a home, a lot of them are going to say down payment. But you know, if you've been watching, that down payment is not a factor here with my first time buyers, particularly because we get them in the home for hundreds of dollars, not thousands of dollars at closing. So you let me worry about things like the down payment. Um, that's the easy part. You make sure you come uh, equipped with uh, acceptable credit and uh, income that'll qualify and then we can make the rest work pretty easily. Number three is I want to do a little self-promotion. I gotta be completely honest. My job, a part of my job, is to promote home ownership. That's what real estate agents do. Uh, but not only promote home ownership, but also when I'm working with sellers, if I can't promote myself and what I do, then how am I ever gonna promote your home in the marketplace? And so I'm proud of my listing guarantee. If I don't get 2,000 views on YouTube in the first week of your listing, if you're selling a home, then I work for free. I don't know anybody else that has that kind of a guarantee here in the marketplace. And I'm definitely proud of the marketing muscle that I can bring to the table. All right, we can see we've got a really nice size front yard, backyard. We have an alleyway in the back and there's also some off street parking in the rear as well. I love the fact that we have this nice big porch here on the front, put a few rocking chairs out. Of course, this is gonna be low maintenance exterior. We've got vinyl all the way around, vinyl soffits, uh, of course, new windows, very few painted surfaces here in this beautiful home. All right, as we come in, it is staged and we have a nice open floor plan. The home does feature recessed lights here throughout. Uh, this is gonna be an LVP type material here on the first floor and it is low maintenance and very durable. We have a coat closet convenient here to the front door. And I particularly like the styling here of this staircase. Notice we have the curve uh, that takes you right on up. Uh, that's a pretty unique design element. All right, we are going to go to the rear here of our family room. And I like that we have our kitchen that is still open to the family room, but kind of tucked away. I know some of my viewers are not big fans of walking in the front door and immediately seeing uh, cabinetry and appliances. So this design actually uh, works very well as far as 
not being able to see the kitchen from the front door. We've got an electric water heater under the stairs. Uh, this home does feature a first floor bedroom. So first floor bedrooms are becoming increasingly popular in today's market because if you did not need it as a bedroom, you could of course use it as a home office. We do have a stand up shower here, which makes it super convenient if you were to use it as a bedroom. Nice big window there at the front. Let's in lots of natural light. We do have a ceiling fan in place and our mirrored closet is there straight ahead. All right, we are now going to take a look at this beautifully appointed kitchen. Uh, we have kitchen here to the left, features granite countertop. We've got a space there for probably three bar stools, a nice pendant lighting set. Our sink is a nice deep stainless sink with the commercial style faucet. Looking out to the rear yard right there, our cabinets actually have the plastic still on them. So uh, it is of course brand new construction. Uh, stainless steel GE appliances will all convey. And uh, just a nicely laid out kitchen uh, all the way around. This is going to be our pantry for some additional food storage. And directly ahead is our dining area. So they set that uh, up as a uh, dining area. Of course, there are many owners that would be happy just simply eating right there at the uh, bar, depending on your lifestyle, uh, but you've got plenty of options here with this floor plan. Okay, we're gonna go upstairs and take a look and see what we have in store here on our second level. Yesterday, my work wife was kind enough to take me to dinner to a nice fancy steakhouse, Perry's Steakhouse, which is new, uh, new business, actually it's a new building, uh, right in front of Short Pump Mall. And um, it was very nice, I was truly impressed. When I hit the front door, I believe it was Clara, uh, greeted me and she looked at me kind of hard and she said, I know you. And I said, you do? She said, yes, 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 you're, you're that real estate guy. You're Max Williams. I've been watching you since I was 14. And I said, 14, well, how old are you now? And she said, oh, I'm 20. I thought, wow, you were watching for all those years and you're not even old enough to, you weren't old enough to own a house back then. And uh, so it just kind of made me think that uh, some people plan ahead. And uh, it was very refreshing to uh, not only be recognized, but to know that there are young people that are definitely thinking ahead. And um, I'm sure she will be a homeowner before she knows it. Hopefully I'll be the person chosen to help her through that process. Okay, this bedroom, you can see we have a closet here. And then we have a second closet in the middle of the frame. So very unusual for a secondary bedroom to have two closets. This is not the primary, but you can see we've got a full size bed staged and plenty of space on either side. So this could easily be primary bedroom size. That's the thing about this um, home having a bedroom on the first floor. It frees up extra square footage on the second floor so you can get these really nice sized bedrooms. There's our closet there for this bedroom, and you can see you could easily get a king size bed in here as well. Uh, so no tiny bedrooms up here on the second floor. These are really generous bedrooms. Our hall bath, directly ahead, we've got uh, tile type material, uh, gray and white color scheme here in this bathroom. Everything is so bright and fresh. There's nothing like the scent of a, of a new home. It's just like a new car. It just kind of makes you feel special somehow. We do have second floor laundry. So your front load would go here, one on top of the other. The other option would be a stack unit. Uh, they go right there in that closet right here next to the primary. And this primary is truly nice. We have a really good size primary bedroom here. Uh, we are rectangular shape and that's going to be a queen size bed that is staged. And you can see we've got a bunch of space here on either side. So if you wanted to go with a larger bed, you have enough space to do that. Plenty 
A furniture could go in here as well. This is a really nice size primary bedroom. Directly ahead, of course, we've got a nice closet to match. Of course, walk-in closet, plenty of storage here. And then our ensuite is right here. Our ensuite features a double vanity, and then we actually have a set of drawers here in the middle. This was a kind of a neat design consideration. So if you've got a lot of small items, uh, they would be perfect right there. To the right is our tub shower area. And once again, this is a two and a half bath home. That's a uh, very uh, convenient here in these older neighborhoods because sometimes you get cut short on the bathroom count for some of the older homes. But this once again is new construction. So you've got a modern floor plan, a great price on this house, double lot. Um, this one has just so much to offer. Uh, we do have that 100% financing available. Grant money is available. If you have questions about this or any other home, my name is Max Williams. We'd be an honor to help. Max Williams, 804-402-77. Aid can reach on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Y'all be safe. Have a great day.